Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the third part of regular expressions in Java. So in the previous videos, we talked about some examples and I will leave these links into the description box below and in the comment section as well. So today we'll talk about another examples to use the regular expressions in Java. And today we'll talk about the date of birth validation. So we'll validate the date of birth if the user entered any input, if we want to validate the date of birth of a user, so we can use the regular expression to validate the input. So let's say that we have this date. We'll start by the year and then by the month followed by the, the day. So here we have these numbers and now we want to use the matches method that will help us to find a pattern in this input. So uh, this is the date. So for sure we can accept input using the scanner. Uh, but here to save some time, I just hard coded the date and we'll check this one. So first, let's go with the first part. We have the year, which is four parts. So I can say that we have digits and the number of digits are four. There are some new expressions that I will show you today. We'll learn something new in this example. And then we might see uh, one digit a month or two digits as you know so sometimes one digit is starting with zero or without zero so that's why we'll say that zero and then the question mark and this what we learned in the previous lesson with the question mark we mean that we might have zero or one of this digits and then followed by a digit and the digit i will limit that to nine Okay, so that means that we either have um, zero and then followed by these numbers one, two, nine. So how about month uh, number 10 or 11 and 12? This is what I am going to show you. Here I will say or, you see that? Or we have one and then one of the following options. So here what we are saying that we have either zero and then one of these numbers and this is matching the example we have zero two or we might have like this one zero it's ten so this falls into the or section here so we have one and then any of these numbers zero one or two so this is another example here i can say one so it's 11 november and here we can say that this is the one the first digit and then this is the second digit so by this we are limiting the numbers to up to uh, december 12 and will not exceed that thing so this is the thing so we can go with digit but you know the digit will be unlimited and we can go for numbers exceeding the numbers of months that we have so that's why so uh, for more clarity and to make it more precise we can do some br brackets here to show you the things so here the first parentheses representing the year the second one representing the month and here let's talk about the days you see that so we'll talk about the days and here the same the days might be one digit might start with zero or not zero so here the zero can be either exist or not exist or just one maximum one digit of zero and then followed by the numbers one two nine or we want to say that we have the numbers start with one or two it's not 12 one or two so means that the 10th of the month or the 11th 12th 13th and so on and then followed by zero two nine you see that so here 
we can say that for this section last one we can say that this is good this is acceptable you see that it's 2 20 20th right so 2 and then 0 so here matching this 2 and then one of these digits which is 0 we can take another example let's say 1 which is 10th the 10th here this is the 1 the tenth and these are the ones which is zero as well or we can go back to zero one which is here the digit zero no zeros or one zero at most and then any digits between one and nine so this can be like this as well this is acceptable right because we can do a zero with or without zero both will be acceptable okay now how about this one some months are like this the 30th so we didn't include this yet so i will add one more thing or you see that this column represents or and here we can say it's either three and followed by either zero or one you see that zero or one so either 30th or 31st good so let's try this one and we'll bring more expressions so look at this this is true see that so let's say that we have here zero one it's true as well let's say we have just one digit for the day it's true you see that so it's uh, up to us so this is telling we can use or not the zero we can use the zero or without the zero okay and we can do here let's say 12 december it's true so let's try something wrong here 13th we don't have something 13 we don't have month 13 so that's why it's giving us wrong you see that so here let's do another example here 21 21 no such month false right so these are the things so this is an example of um, regular expressions and to validate the birthday or any date you want so uh, i hope you learned something new in this video do not forget to subscribe to receive more of these videos so thank you and we'll leave you with those videos to watch more thank you and goodbye